Why ain't you subscribe yet, baby? Why ain't you subscribe yet? <laughs> I know y'all see the glow. You know you see the glow. That's that official SR. Anyways, this video is not about semen retention, but I'm gonna discuss why I decide to basically uh, stop smoking weed. You know what I mean? Um, my experience with smoking weed, I've been, I was smoking, I started smoking, I was introduced to smoking at the age of seven, a very, very young age, you know what I mean? And the area I grew up in was pretty goddamn rough. And you know what I mean? That the, that's what was just in the atmosphere. You know what I mean? That's just this is me being real with y'all, keeping it one hundred. Um, smoked weed for many years, even up to like last the last two months, I was smoking weed heavy. But some things I noticed is like my mental performance. I'm the type of person when I do something, like if I'm smoking or if I'm playing sports, no matter what it is, I give it 100%. I got a very, very addictive uh, personality. Um, so when I do something, I do it 100%. Now, I never done any other drug. I mean, not, I don't consider weed a drug, but I haven't done any other stimulants besides weed. You know what I mean? And um, I just found that it was just being counterproductive for me at the moment. I'm not saying I quit forever. I'm done smoking weed. But I just find like... I got to a point with with smoking bud and you know the 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 crowds that you surround yourself the frequencies the vibrations you surround yourself with was just very counterproductive to where I wanted to go you know what I mean and I found that when I was smoking bud that's just the type of energies I was attracting into my life if you want me to get in deeper deeper t uh deeper into that conversation then go ahead and comment below but um yeah, man, some things I notice physically, uh, you know, a little, like every time I quit smoking bud, get a little bit of erectile dysfunction. My man's downstairs doesn't get as activated as fast. But when I clear that one to two months period that I'm clean, shit, all day, every day. And I guess that's all on how you consume, you know what I mean? Um, I would smoke Dutchess on a regular so I think the nicotine had, had some type of effect not only that you're getting that THC effect but you're also getting that nicotine high which could very be not marijuana's fault but me consuming the nicotine part I just like smoking blunts instead of you know smoking papers or bongs or anything nothing wrong with that nothing nothing wrong with the way you consume but just it's my preference it's just me uh, another thing is um, I notice that my performance went way down. I'm not gonna say way down, but it's just not where where um where I would prefer it to be. You know what I mean? So like my long runs, I would I would me personally, I would struggle. Um, I put on weight pretty easy when I smoke bud, um, and I have no discipline. So when I was high, when I would be smoking weed or I get high, um, I would eat the fucking house up. That's just me. And I guess that's a, a lack of self-control, you know what I mean? So right now in this current moment in my life, in my journey, um, I just find that it's just more counterproductive for me to continue on that path. So that's why I stopped. Uh, right now I'm on a path of trying to lose weight, trying to get as lean as possible, um, just so I can think better thoughts, just so I could be better, you know what I mean, and get towards my purpose. Um, so, yeah, man, um, I just want to be more in in the motive. I'm going to go through some bullshit. I want to feel that bullshit because there's a, there's a test behind each bullshit that gets presented to you. You know what I mean? And it's up to you if you're going to pass that test. Um, I'm, not a very, uh, I'm not very much of a, a big drinker, but when I did drink, I would get the shakes a lot. So that's why I didn't really like drinking. Weed was just my, my, my preferred drug of choice. Um... I just find that I would zone out and tune everybody out, not give a fuck. Like, like my, uh, it's like Cat Williams says, you, it puts that fuck it in your system. Like, you know what I mean? You don't give a fuck about shit. And sometimes, you know, you need to be in that zone. But right now, if you're going to school or if you're 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 trying to be the best version of yourself as an athlete, you don't need those this type of distractions in your life. You know what I mean? I understand you're probably going through some bullshit that you don't want to deal with, but eventually when that high wears off, you're going to have to deal with that bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, could I say, am I going to, I'm going to sit here and say that 
you can't be disciplined while smoking weed? No, that's just me. I'm just giving y'all my perspective. Like when I when I would smoke bud, like I had no self control when it came to eating. I didn't discipline myself to sit down and read when I needed to. I would tune out with my family. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't take all my problems head on. And this is just me. I'm 30 years old now. I started smoking when I was seven. So you do the math. Like 23 years. Um, and it's not something to be proud of. And I'm not sitting here bashing weed either because it also has its positive effects. Um, am I going to sit here and tell y'all I quit forever? No, I just need to get to my goals. I need to get to my goals. And just right now, I can't afford distractions. So anyways, that's that's my story. That's my journey. By the way, since I quit smoking weed, um, I went from 225 pounds to now I'm like at even 200 so that tells you a lot, you know what I mean, physically on what, what impact it has on you. Um, my memory is getting better, you know what I mean? There's some shit that my wife would be telling me and I just, she'll tell me in a second, I'll forget that shit. Trust me. Um, this shit does take a toll on you. Anything, everything that's good for you doesn't mean you can't over consume and abuse that thing, you know what I mean? Me personally, um, I just need to step back from it for a little bit. You know what I mean? Give myself a, a nice long break from it. And then, you know, who knows? Later on down the road, if I want to fucking hit it, t take a puff or two, then I'll do that. But right now, for the meanwhile, I just got to take a break. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Anyways, dog, subscribe. Comment below. Like this video if you like it. Um, if you don't like it, fuck you too. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um... Uh, but peace, much love and respect to every single one of y'all. Thank you for watching my video. Keep it fucking simple, stupid. Chin-ups, push-ups, leg raises, then two-mile run. Put in the work for yourself. Ain't nobody gonna give you fucking shit. I don't give a fuck how much they say they love you. At the end of the day, it's all up to you. Period.